What's going on guys? We're back again with yet another video and what we have today is a nice pair of Kobe's. Finally, I'm actually early on a shoe. So I'm pretty excited about that because a lot of the pairs have been hard for me to get on time just due to extenuating circumstances like treatment and whatnot. But we got lucky because my trainer ended up hitting these on a shock drop i believe from the sneakers app these are right here the kobe 5 pro tro in the x-ray theme and colorway so these obviously have a bit of a halloween theme going on with them um so definitely coming out at the right time of year for that um so yeah finally nike is on point with some of these sneaker releases in terms of the time frame I know a lot of the times, for whatever reason, they like to release everything at the wrong time. That did not happen this time around. So yeah, these haven't even like officially dropped. They actually, actually no, they, they did release today. They released today on the sneakers app and no one's really had them in hand yet. So I'm pretty excited to go over it. I've never even seen a Kobe 5 in hand. So on the box label it does say kobe b because they always do kobe's in roman numerals so right there kobe v pro tro which means kobe 5 pro tro these are size nine and a half they got the usual snakeskin box with the kobe logo on top and his signature kobe boxes are always the same story you got a nike swoosh right here and the rest of the box is pretty plain, bare bones, stock. Um, jumping into the shoe. So like I said, these are size 9.5, which are not my size. So unfortunately, we won't have an on feet for you today. But the main thing with this shoe, besides the blue color, is this x-ray theme. So you got the five toes up here. You got the full x-ray of the foot. It does actually look pretty realistic too. I've gotten some MRIs recently as you all know, and it looks kind of like this too. So um, definitely a cool color going on. Um, and yeah, so that's the main major detail on the shoe and the major theme. On the lateral side, we got this light blue swoosh, almost like a UNC blue. Then you got the five toes, um, and for those of you guys wondering what that actually represents, I'm going to put a picture up, but Kobe did break both of his hands. He had all sorts of fractures in his hands and his feet, um, from all of his playtime in the NBA, obviously. And, uh, he actually has a shirt of him holding his hand out like this as an x-ray and all five fingers are fractured but he has five rings which represents the five rings he won in the nba three that he won with jack and two that he won on his own so he dropped that shirt when he won his fifth ring and this shoe almost kind of bears representation to that on the medial side we got the exact same deal just basically the medial side of an x-ray of a foot um and then you got this shiny blue it actually it's not really that shiny i guess it's more of a a matte blue midsole uh you got this plastic piece on the back which does have kobe's signature yeah kobe's signature back there um it's a pretty hard shoe like basketball shoes in general are usually pretty hard on the toe box as you can see you got the five toes on top of the grating to let ventilation into the shoe. On the tongue, you got the signature Kobe logo right there. The inside of the shoe is pretty padded, actually, as you can see right there. It's a pretty thick padding. Um, the blue laces are the only ones that come pre-laced in the shoe and the only laces that come with the shoe, period. You got this carbon fiber shank plate right here as well. Um, you got zoom on the midsole right there, as you can see. Um, yeah, 
pretty pretty cool details on the shoe overall all right guys i forgot to mention that these kobe fives in the x-ray theme actually do glow in the dark so i'm gonna put some b-roll up i have a little video as well as some pictures of these things glowing in the dark i don't know why i neglected to mention that detail earlier because it's literally the coolest thing about the shoe so yeah they do glow in the dark none of my other shoes glow in the dark it seems to be kind of a a rare feature i don't really see it that often so i just wanted to jump in and mention that real quick enjoy the rest of the video on the mid so the outsole rather is like an aqua blue you don't really get that aqua blue anywhere else on the shoe besides right there the tongue is a mesh tongue which does have some white um, underliner to it. So as you can see, there's mesh there. It is somewhat see-through, so I guess socks do matter a tad bit, but not too, too much. Um, on the left shoe, not really much difference. You got the exact same details and touches. As far as sizing goes, if you are really playing in these professionally and competitively, I would say true to size could work, but otherwise, if you're casually hooping or just wearing them casually on the street, go up a half size. Kobe's always fit tight, but that being said, I've never tried these on, so I don't know for sure. Quality control is good, but quality is mediocre on these. Like, it is a basketball shoe, so it feels kind of like a hard shell, TPU, plastic, not too much in the way of quality on these, honestly. Um, so that is definitely one thing to keep in mind. But, like I said, quality control is good. Prices on these right now are pretty high. They're around 280 to $300, which is a lot for a shoe nowadays. They retail for 180 My trainer luckily dumped them right away. For that quick buck so hats off to him for that um yeah i can't really think of much else to say kobe was obviously a legend he tragically passed in january 2020 directly before covid that was just a a crappy year for the world overall um but yeah so these are the kobe 5 pro shows in the x-ray theme and if you want them definitely wait for prices to go down i can almost assure you that they will but don't wait too long because kobe's are still valued there was definitely a huge shortage of them at some point in the past like recently um there is not one right this second really but they still sell out everywhere so personally i don't really like this shoe i would never wear it but I can appreciate the theme and the details because like I didn't even mention that these these actually have like a raised texture to them. I probably wouldn't be the best person to describe what this feels like right now. I'll explain that actually in the next cancer update. You guys are gonna wanna stay tuned for that. So a little spoiler there. Um yeah, but with all that being said I'm going to wrap this one up. Thanks for watching. Take care more. Come on. I'll see you all later. Peace.